Hello, welcome to the Long Dark. I'm going to review a few of the OBS settings. Uh, we have output set to uh, a video subdirectory, audio. Okay, desktop is audio default is default device. <coughs> Microphone set to the blue snowball. Hotkeys. Start recording, control plus F1. Stop recording is control plus F2. Desktop audio is num minus to mute, num plus to unmute. It's the same for desktop and mic. So that controls both. Uh, advanced. Disable Windows audio ducking. That's pretty important. Okay, let's get back to the game. We're on coast. We're going to be going from Coastal Highway. We're going to go up to the Cinder Hills Coal Mine, abandoned mine. Love this music. we uh, left off we were in one of the coastal houses and uh, let's take a look at our map I have a feeling we're down here we could be could be out on the island I forget I forget where we were we'll find out quickly when we go outside so a little bit thirsty and hungry we got a bunch of uh, guts here because we uh, killed a a bear. That's the black bear stuff. So we're gonna pick all this stuff up. Okay, now we're good and smelly. Before we go outside, let's have something to eat. We brought this old gamey bear meat with us because we're gonna use it up. Don't have a lot of water. I don't know if there's any water left. We still have this pop, so that's good. So we're gonna crouch. Leave. It's just a good practice. We don't have to do this. We are on misanthropes. Okay, I recognize it immediately. That's if you had a bear outside or something, you know, you'd, you'd want to crouch when you came out. Or a wolf, too. And often if I come out of uh, the Quonset hut, and if I'm playing on Voyager, that's what I'll do. Ooh. So there's the uh, wharf. And there's something out here. It's an arrow. Oh, cool. Still some stuff over there, so it could be it could be some more feathers over here. That would be nice. Don't see feathers today. Well, what time is it? It's just morning. That's why there's probably no feathers yet. There's more. More crows. That's another place where we killed a deer, I believe. Two deers from the looks of it.
Oh yeah, that's the tin can. Isn't it? Tin can off to the left there. I have a tendency to look down like this. You ever do that? It sort of makes everything look, I don't know, bigger or smaller than it really is. Like when you come to a ledge, it could be a three foot ledge. And to you, it looks like it's a three inch ledge. There's a, there's a crow feather. So an experiment we can do in the future, I'm not going to do it right now, is uh, find out if crow feathers despawn. Do they disappear? And what pattern do they do they spawn in, or is it a random pattern? It's always we, the pr guys who write these programs. They have to think of all these things. Where are they going to put the feathers? What makes sense? Oh, they can play with your head. There's no crow feathers here, but there's lots of meat laying around, so. And nothing seems to bother it. That's the strange thing, too, is it? Uh, really, it should uh, should get used up. So we have a cr one pro by pri, pri bar. It belongs here. We have some water. Uh, we have some stuff. We're going to probably bring that medicine with us. Uh, we'll bring this along. A book. Fire striker. The fire striker actually makes it easier to start fires. Uh oh, we're getting a storm coming up. Something's gotta go. Okay. Let's bring. The coastal doesn't have a whole lot of uh, fishing opportunities, but these only weigh 0 .02 kilograms. But we'll leave two of them here because, uh, you know, sooner or later we're going to have to come back. Uh, let's bring these. Let's bring some charcoal. How much charcoal do we have? Uh, charcoal would be a tool. And uh, we have no charcoal. So let's bring uh, half of them, about 15. That's going to weigh us down a little bit. One, yeah, 1 1.9 kilos for about 19 of them. So that puts our weight at 38. That's not too bad. We're not going to bring the rifle. We're going to bring the bow, obviously. And we're going to bring a maple sapling because we're going to have to craft a new bow. And we're going to bring a bunch of guts. It needs a heavy load. So we may need to make two trips. Now, I don't see the crows, so it's gotten windy, the crows may have taken off, it's all part of animal behavior. Now we're really walking slow, because now our weight is 38, yeah, so, oh we've got two liters of, of uh, no good water, that's why. And we're walking slowly because it's windy. So let's get some more water. Just just because we're gonna need some. We got m more water back at Quonset, but <sighs> so we'll line this up with that corner, line it up with that. And that pretty well should get us back to the, uh, where we're going. Very tiring. You can fast forward now. Let's see if we can run a little bit. The more we run, actually, the more we move towards that, uh, Achievement of a uh, fast runner. And we're going to take another look for uh, crow feathers. I don't see the crows. It's too windy, the crows have left, so take note. 
crows don't like wind. Yep, there's nothing here. Now there's the, uh, the wharf, and that lines up right now. Lines up with the, this fishing hut here. So that's where we're headed, right into the teeth of the wind. And uh, we have a pretty strong wind right now. Wind chill is minus 17. Feels like minus one, so we are getting cold. Well, let's eat. So that little stop and rest there will have rejuvenated our stamina. Every now and then you stop, you rest up, take a drink. Whatever you gotta do. Look at your map. Well, we can look at our map. I'm stuck in here out of the wind. I'm stuck in here out of the wind. And look at our map. Rest. Guess where we are. Uh, we should be somewhere around here. I think. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I want to. I want to do a uh, quick sketch here, just to ascertain where we are. Yeah. So we're at this fishing hut here. It was in the little gray area that hadn't been mapped before. Okay, so we're heading straight, straight that way. Uh, the wharf is out here. It doesn't show on the sketch. The pier. So let's look at our status now. Only 17 still. And I think the wind is picking up. Seems to be really strong now. There's a wolf. I don't see any deer. We were gonna blow a deer down, but so yeah, we still have the rifle on us. We were gonna blow a deer down and compare the length of the deer with the deer hide. It's gotta be pretty darn close, don't you think? To run yet? We got our fatigue way, way up, and we'll be able to uh, sleep, wake up really early in the morning, and be on our way. We might have to take two trips. There's a rope, and. Uh, kind of thought we might try climbing the rope so that would mean sleeping in the trailer just below the rope Or hides. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Oh, sticks. Love sticks. We take these sticks over to the Quonset and leave them there. It's going to weight us down a little bit.
I'm a smoker, so. Bad cough. Nothing spawned lately. Check in here, nothing spawning in there. Sometimes behind these boxes and stuff you'll find uh so these are cured. So we'll repair everything that we can repair and we won't we won't carry any spares. We've got uh that's not cured yet, so um we're not gonna carry the lantern. We're gonna we'll find more lanterns probably in the mine but we'll bring a I think we'll bring a couple of torches we'll probably find torches and flares we might bring flare, flares because they're they're lighter than torches right so here's a torch weighs 0.3 it's 37 percent that's a pretty that's a pretty decent torch I've you'll get worse torches out of your short little fires uh, the really hot ones like the forge I think you get much better torches out of there something in there yeah, no, just driving gloves you seem to left a box here <laughs> we can't seem to do anything with it Brand out torch charcoal's been taken we'll put some sticks in here Sure, we'll find more sticks. Uh, accelerant. Let's bring that. Okay, let's go look at the food locker. So we're not going to carry all this heavy stuff. We're going to eat eat some of it. What we're going to bring mostly is these things, and maybe some of these, because they're really light. If you look at the energy density of these, we'll compare them in a second. But uh, put that in there. This is 0.25. This is 0.5. So we'll try to we'll try to eat these right now. Try to see if we can eat all of that. Not quite. We got 0 0.01 kilograms left. Okay, well, well, we'll bring that much. That much is pretty easy to eat. We have just just over a liter of water and a pop. Two uh, cans of coffee. Okay, I'm going to check this recording, make sure everything's working hunky-dory before we take off. Uh, I think we're going to leave the rifle here. That one's full. And I'm going to leave it right here in front of the door. I don't like leaving it out uh, because it could lose condition. And if I was playing a really long game, I would never leave the rifle out on the floor. But uh, it, it it's really heavy, so... Uh, we need to bring just one each of these things and uh, we can leave stuff like this behind uh, Okay, so let's go over here What did I just say we need the sleeping bag mm. Sleeping bag is one kilo and uh, out of a 33 33 out of 34 plus five kilos so that's what we can we have some cured guts we have this decent bearskin coat so let's get the best condition of uh, here's a sharpener so the best condition are these uh, these ones here and uh, they're 0.75 and 1.75 for the improvised hatchet whereas the regular hatchet where is it? There it is. It's only 41. So we'll put this in here. Oh, 
Okay, so we'll take one of these out. 0.175, and this is so this is slightly, way slightly more, but uh, and we'll bring this improvised one. It's 0.75 versus uh, 0.5. Yeah, see, so you, you you have extra weight for that. And we've got this rifle cleaning kit. And where is the rifle? Oh, we put it on the floor. Oh, we have a good bow. Might have to drop some gear. So we'll bring that. And uh, so the bad bow, where's the bad bow? Down here at the bottom. There it is. We'll put it in there. And uh, put that in there. So now we should have two good quality bows. We have two flares. Flares weigh 0.25 kilos. And the torches weigh 0.3. So. Yeah, yeah, it's six of one half a dozen of the other. Uh, I, I think the torches last longer. So we want to bring a whole lot of arrows, and we've got twenty three arrows. Okay, so. Let's take a look. at It's midday. We're tired. So I want to sleep. And I'm going to stop the recording right here just for now because that's all we need to do.